Hey guys, it's me, Tiana Jones, also known as Callie Faye, and I'm here today with the All Lives Do Exist Sustainable Development Day 1 through 17 Award Ceremony. And I'm here with people from all over the world that joined. I'm so grateful and happy because people from all over the world with different time zones have joined today to get and receive an honorable award from Cali Girl Books LLC, myself, Tiana Jones, the publishing company owner. And I am so happy to present our first person. And her name is Manette from India. Welcome. Thank you so much, Tiana, ma'am, for this honor. It's always a pleasure to work with you. And and the journey has just begun. It's a long way to go. Thank you so much for this honor. Thank you, and we will show you your award now. Thank you so much, ma'am. It You're means welcome. a lot to me. You're welcome. And we are excited to see you tomorrow so you can receive another award. Oh my God, thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. Our next special guest is ba Bavank. Bhavang Bahat, welcome. Can you hear us? Bhavang? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for joining us, and you are honorable here. So we have an award for you. Thank you, ma'am. We have been so excited that you've joined and we cannot wait because tomorrow we have another award for you. Thank you, ma'am. And we're looking forward to seeing you at the Youth Summit for another award. Yes, ma'am, sure, I will be there. Thank you. Our next special guest is Herdiana. Welcome. Hello, thank you so much. I'm so happy and grateful for coming to this award ceremony. I know it's really great for 17 days. People already join and share all the things that they have known about the sustainable development. And Tiana, you are doing really a great job and I hope you can always continue this good work and I will always support it. And thank you so much once again. Thank you. And sustainable development has been amazing with you and everyone. Here is your honorable award. Thank you so much. And all awards will be sent to your emails. So tomorrow, you guys are also presented another award. Our next special guest is Dr. Karit Kumar Bahat. 
thank you thank you very much uh, throughout the event it is, as it is a very long event and you have handled very nicely and i have enjoyed all the speakers and i learn a lot i find that this is a, a knowledge sharing as well as the knowledge serving platform and uh, it has really enhanced a lot of understanding uh, especially solution based uh, understanding has been enhanced and i really enjoyed the, all the sessions what i have uh, attended and due to some or other obstructions i could not able to attend all uh, so whatever i have uh, sessions i have attended all the global speaker are amazing speaker i find that and i am thankful to this platform for being a part of it for all the time thank you thank you and you will be getting another award tomorrow here's your honorable award thank you thank you it's, it's really amazing for me and it's very nice certificate thank you Our next special guest is Dr. Asim Musa. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Diana Jones. Uh, my pleasure to be with you and to cooperate with you. And uh, I would like to thank a lot to all amazing speakers that spend the you know, time and effort to discuss about the 17 SCG. Uh, it's very useful. And uh, I really enjoy it, you know, uh, all uh, the meeting. Thank you so much uh, for what you are doing for, you know, for the kids, for, for all the world. Thank you, Tiana Jones, and thank you for the award. It's my pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much. And here is your honorable award. And make sure tomorrow to join again for another award. My pleasure to be with you always. Thank you so much, Tiana Jones. Thank you so much for the award and for the appreciation. I really appreciate a lot. Thank you so much. And wishing for more cooperation with you in the future. Thank you. Our next special guest is Professor Soraya Bano. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. I want to share a nice thought of Mother Teresa. Kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. And she also said, it's not about how much we give, but how much love we put into giving. This is the nice thought. And very, very thanks and courteous congratulations, Dr. Tiana Mem, for supporting and for giving such a beautiful opportunities. Thank you. Thank you, and I love you very much. Thank you, Mary. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Our next special guest today is going to be Professor Dr. Huma Shah. Thank you. Thank you so very much for announcing the name. First of all, I'm so sorry I could not turn on my camera as I'm outside just reaching back to my home. Okay, so first of all, I feel so glad and happy today that the finally uh, Tiana, you have done an amazing job and uh, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of God, we all have done with the 17 goals of sustainable development. 
And uh, I just really hope that it will be the beneficial and betterment for the future as well. And uh, we will definitely target and achieve our goal as soon as possible. And I'm so proud to be a part of uh, all lives do exist and women lives do exist. Thank you for having me on your platform. Thank you. Thank you. And here is your honorable award. And tomorrow you will be receiving another award. I'm highly honored. Thank you so very much for the wonderful recognition. Thank you. Our next special guest today is Dr. Vargis KJ. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am, for this uh, opportunity. And in fact, I was learning too much. And I was also I mean, uh, contributing the little which I could uh, to the 17 goals. And I must congratulate you for this uh, great leadership. At the same time, meeting all these 17 goals and the way it was being conducted. Kudos to you, ma'am. You did it uh, really well. And spreading the news all to make this world a better place to live and to attain the ultimate goal of world peace. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. And our next special guest today, Here is your honorable award. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. And our next special guest today is Melissa Esposito. And we are going to show the awards to some of the people who aren't here. And then we will go to people that are here if they are attended. And our next special guest is Velma Barbosa from Brazil. We appreciate you and all that you're doing and cannot wait to see your students at the Youth Summit on the 24th. Our next special guest is Tomo Kavax. Thank you so much for joining. Our next special awardee is Soma Mendoza from the United States. Thank you so much for your insight. Our next awardee 
is going to be Karen Terry Raza. Welcome. Dr. Karen Terry Raza, we welcome you and thank you for being a part of this SDG day one through 17 sustainable development goals. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Diana. It's a great honor for us to have you and make sure you join tomorrow because you will be getting another award tomorrow. Surely. Thank you. And our next special guest is Jelena Boscovich. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sienna. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we're excited because tomorrow you get another award. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. Thank you. And now we have Basal Fayaz. Welcome. Good evening, ma'am. Thank you very much. I'm really delighted and grateful to you that you are spreading the awareness to SDG goals. And by doing this, we all work together to spread the humanity, to make the things better in this world. And obviously, uh, the good deeds we are uh, we earn only by serving the humanity. If we work together and we will make this world beautiful, then obviously it's our place where our uh, future generation will survive and we have to work together to make it more better and to make it more beautiful than before. Thank you very much to you and I'm really grateful to you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And we will be emailing you an award. And please join us tomorrow as well. Thank you. Right then. Thank you, ma'am. This is your participation award. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Our next awardee is Mahoro Oliver.
And the next one is Ria Love. Thank you from, you know, from the United States. We are so grateful for all of you to be here. And it's just an honor to see all of you from all different parts of the world come together for sustainable development goals. It is amazing to give me hope that there are people out there in the world that care about the world, that care about humanity, that care about the planet, the earth, economic growth, um, so many things that need to be discussed that we discussed through day one through day 17. So I am so amazed right now that we had 98 people join and people from all over the world. And it's just, it's really um, giving me hope for our world that you guys have came together. Thank you. Our next special guest is Dr. Kalpana Dixt. Thank you so much for joining from all around the world. We are so happy you guys are here. Our next awardee is Dr. Saurav Banerjee. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tiana. Thank you for getting me involved in this platform. It's a wonderful initiative. I have been through all the 17 days of sustainable development goals. It's been really a learning experience, although I've got to speak for a very small part. So it's my small contribution and I'm very proud of that. And we hope that this is just the beginning of a long-term relationship where we'll be able to work together for the betterment of humankind. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining more than one day and giving your efforts for humanity. It's very important to have people that are doing this for the greater cause. Thank you again. Thank you and see you tomorrow. Our next awardee is researcher Tiago Bedin. Thank you so much for giving great knowledge, taking notes and starting to do research based on sustainable development goals. This has been very amazing for all of us. And we are just grateful that people have joined to give knowledge worldwide. Our next awardee is Andreas Camano. It's an honor to see you all here. I'm so happy. Everyone gave such knowledge, such experience, such passion. 
information, research, history, and even present issues worldwide at the Sustainable Development Conference Summit. It's been amazing to see you all come together and I'll never forget it. Our next special guest from the United States, awardee Tanya Maddox with G100. Thank you so much. Our next guest today is Poonam Gathi. Thank you so much for coming. Every, almost every day you were there listening and learning more information. You came so many times to show up to attend. It was a, it was a blessing and we are so grateful for you. Thank you guys again. Would you like to say a couple words? We are gonna show you your award again, Tunam Gathi. Poonam Gathi, thank you so much. And we will be emailing you your certificate. Our next awardee is Varsha Ch Chahan. Welcome. Thank you so much, Tiana. Thank you so much for giving me this wonderful opportunity uh, to speak in front of uh, eminent personalities from all over the world. So once again, my heartful, uh, I'm so grateful and my heartful thanks to uh, SDG virtual event presented by Cali Girl Book LLC and hosted by you, Tiana. And I'm sure together we can change the world. So thank you once again. Thank you. And next time tomorrow, we will have another award for you. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow, Tiana. Take care. You too. Our next award goes to Job Okello. And Job has done an amazing job as he has sent us videos, numerous videos for almost all SDGs, giving a special message of peace for the world to come to understand how to respect one another and the animals. And it's just been really informational and the passion that ran through his voice because he wants to show the people from all the way from Africa 
that they can put their minds together to rise. So thank you so much, Job Okello. Our next awardee is from the United States of America. Her name is Jessica James, and she's from another part of the United States than I'm from, but it was just amazing to see people, even from down South, come to speak for the greater good of humanity. It was just remarkable to hear her words of patience and kindness. Our next awardee is also from the United States. Her name is Latasha Ramsey Caprian, and she was able to speak with passion as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Our next special guest awardee, Dr. Go Lasan, Lasan Awati. Thank you so much for expressing from the bottom of your heart the issues that were impacting Asia and how that people needed to get rid of a lot of corruption in the world and show diversity with utilizing their fundamentals with their money and helping people get more funding to protect their economic growth. Thank you so much. Our next special guest is Ahmed Nurhamed. Thank you so much again. Thank you for joining us. And now we have another special guest awardee from the United States. This was her first time joining Sustainable Development Goals, but she really gave an impact with her heart and with the knowledge that she knew from her own experiences. And her name is Tia, Tia Nicole. And we just are grateful that people joined from the United States. Our next awardee is Dr. Shelley Bisht. Thank you for all the information you gave. It was very information, um, informative, informative of information. So we learned a lot from her. Our next special guest is gonna be A.D. Gunn, Joseph 
Coyote, thank you. And now we present Sanja Zerlik from Croatia. Thank you so much. And she is an, she is an educator that was able to show a great amount of presentations more than one day. We are looking forward to having more educators come forward as we did have a decent amount that helped us learn a lot of research, a lot of information, and also gave a message to the youth. Thank you so much. Our next awardee is Professor Vedrana Sarek. So we're gonna go to the next one. Ubani Vivian. So we will be emailing this amazing honorable award to all the people that are not here right now. And we will say their names and then we will email them so that we can go ahead and allow you guys to go back to your occupations. And this is Ubani Vivian, who joined us and was new to our platform. She was showing the diversity in her country compared to other countries, but showing the importance of human rights as we all have human rights. And we do need to know this information. The next award goes to Dr. Professor Nada Rakovic from Croatia, who attended multiple, I mean multiple sessions here. She outdid herself. And it was a great honor to have her. As many people are not able to join today because they do have professions and occupations and other commitments that they have to be at. But it was our honor to have all of you. Our next special guest is Bahardi Kakwani. Thank you so much for joining.
and everyone gave outstanding service to giving information on each particular SDG, sustainable development goal that they were comfortable with. So that was the main thing is learning the research and learning the information that maybe one day somebody in the United Nations will view a solution to that information. That was the key. The key was to show that people can overcome any life circumstance and show diversity and show each other coming together from all nations of the world. Our next special awardee is Chinello Enukura. Thank you so much again. Now we present Professor Dr. Pratik Rajan Munjekar. In the research, he gave so much knowledge from just knowing how to use his resource of technology. The internet is a very powerful place where you can learn pretty much anything nowadays. So he utilized technology a lot, learning and also speaking to give us so much information. So thank you. Our next awardee is L. Santosh Kumar with Global Law Thinker Society. Thank you. He's doing great service in the world and helping Global Law Thinker Society draw a lot of awareness in India. Our next awardee is Dr. Simon Peter Olosla Gabelli, and his whole family is involved with our movement of all lives do exist and women's lives do exist. So we present this award on behalf of Cali Girl Books LLC and myself, Tiana Jones, also known as Cali Faye. Thank you so much. Now we present Professor Hayat Hassini. She is a professor, an educator, a leader. And we were able to see her presentation of an ebook that her students created, which was amazing about the environment. You are all leaders and we are so grateful to have so many dedicated educators. Our next educator from Romania is Laura Stansu, who came throughout all that she was going through during the day. She always made the time to impact us with her words and her presentations. Thank you so much, Laura, for giving so much passion with educating students. 
Our next special awardee is Professor Husanen Mukadum. Thank you so much for showing up and giving the service of speaking. And he receives a participation because he wanted to speak, but he was really just participating to learn the knowledge from just finding out what other people from other parts of the world. We spoke after, and he was very impressed with the other speakers' knowledge and information. Thank you. And now we present Alexander Shapiro Solomon with the People's Alliance of the World. Thank you so much for joining us and representing 198 countries. He represents Israel, Russia, Africa, and so many more with his partnerships as a diplomatic governor. Now we present Dr. Sa Seen Bob Mabrock. Thank you so much for joining. And it's always great to see you on these platforms. And I am so impressed with all of you because knowing that the humanity has this power inside of them to have a voice, to participate, to listen, to learn the knowledge, creates so much value to make sure that these sustainable development goals can be reached with success before 2030, that the United Nations has set their own particular time of a goal for us. So this has been very moving, hopeful and empowered just to see this actually happening. Our next special guest is Dr. Pallavi Vasuda Vishwas. Thank you for joining us. It is our honor to honor you all because we are so grateful for the people because without the people, we don't have a platform. So all lives do exist and women's lives do exist with equality shows that the people have equality with all existence of life and with God existing in their life and inside their hearts. Our next special guest from Greece, awardee, Reina Lampu. She gave a lot of knowledge and information, a lot in her presentation. Thank you. And the goal here was to bring all nations together 
giving all humanity hope that even though we've all been through things in our lives of pain, trauma, and also things that we cannot explain here, we know that there is a living God and that God does exist within us, knowing that we can overcome any life circumstance with hope and with faith. Thank you again, Raina Lampu. You did this with straight courage. And now we give a participation award to a student. And she was listening the whole time. She didn't speak, but she was the youth seeing that there was people of all countries, of all nations that actually cared about the youth. She was viewing to see how you all acted and how you all participated. Thank you so much. Joyetta Bishwas Troyi with Global Law Thinker Society, the Glory Foundation, and now going to be part of our youth, all lives do exist, global brand ambassadorship. We are grateful for your intriguing emotions and thoughts on why people are joining our platform. Thank you so much. And now we're presenting Miss Le Tai Mai An. Thank you for joining us. And it doesn't matter how far you are in the world from the United States from me, I am honored to bring you all together here. I am honored to see so many countries, so many nations, so many regions, and so many sectors of people that produce their heart to show the importance of saving the human race. Thank you so much. Our next special guest, awardee Sanja, Sanjna, Sanja, Sanjna, Nayar. Thank you for joining. It gives us great pleasure to present you this award showing that sustainable development goals, each goal that each person has picked out has been very moving for them, has gone back to give them knowledge back into their lives so they can make a difference in their communities and giving service with their occupations. Thank you again. Our next awardee, is from Canada, originally from Asia, Vaughn Eric Tendok. Thank you. Another educator. As you see, there are so many professors, teachers, and educators that join to learn knowledge, but also to give peace within to the youth that was watching. Thank you so much. Our next awardee is Retna Aming Amingish Amingisha. Thank you so much again. I am so thankful. I cannot stop saying thank you so much because I am so grateful from the bottom of my heart that all of you worldwide spoke upon such impact of thought and emotion.
Our next awardee is Marvin Kelleron. So we're loading it from another computer, and that is why we are having some technical difficulties, but please be patient. And it gives me great pleasure to know that you all are still here watching this award ceremony, even though the people that are viewing it already got their awards. You guys are the true heroes. Our next awardee is Anil Pok Pokerell. This has been an amazing experience for me, learning so many people's identities, their character, their emotions, their thoughts, and showing that with all people united, their voices can be lifted. And this gives the new generation a sense of knowledge, a sense of accountability, because without knowing the information, how will the people know what is going on outside of their communities, outside of their states and outside of their countries? This is a new chance for the human race to survive. Our next awardee is Tia Taylor from the United States. Michigan is her home state and she is very impactful with the mind and overcoming all life circumstances for people to change their lives around. And I believe that in the United States, there are still parts of the, the nation that need to be fixed. We are not a perfect, perfect country and we sure don't have perfect states. As you guys see on the news, streaming on the internet, there is still segregation in some states. There are still people that don't wanna accept change, but now is the time for them to continue to know that we have to change so that we can make things better in the world. And I believe that Tia Taylor showed that example of change and great courage for everyone to know that we are all united and we are all one. Our next awardee is Dr. Studi Parde. Thank you. Now we present Dr. Dehiraj Mehotra, and he is an educator in India, a principal. Over, six, over 600 students are able to learn from him as he is also an author.
everyone, I recommend you to connect with him because he has a whole other way of thinking that is very beneficial to learn. Now we present Dr. Dr. Nita Mahatre. Again, thank you so much. We've had doctors, we've had scientists, we've had researchers, we've had educators, we've had government officials, diplomatic people that are viewing this and the United Nations can see that there's voices of all people, of all ethnicity, of all culture here. So we should listen to the people and give them the power of the voice and the freedom and the rights of knowing they have human rights to assemble for global peace. Now we present Vanessa de Cruz, and she's a very powerful woman in the LGBT community, which we do not judge. We accept everyone as God does, as come as you are. Thank you so much for everything that you do on a global scale of impact. Now we are presenting all the way in Barbados, near the Caribbean, Dr. Adrian Daisley, and he was there for the for the most informative. He gave so much knowledge and so much um, time. He put a lot of effort into his words and into his thoughts. And he explained a lot of economical issues for the environment over by the Caribbean. So he explained so many issues near the islands, which we don't hear too much about. We never really hear too much about them. Our next awardee is Altanu Lordana, and he is an educator from Romania, a male educator who spoke up in Romania as him and his wife are both educators and they were new to the platform. But once they joined one All Lives Do Exist SDG, he continued to join multiple just to listen in. Thank you so much. And now we are gonna present his wife, Altanu Lorraine. Thank you for referring our platform to your husband. As they are both, again, as I said, educators. Wow, so many teachers, educators, professors, and people of great knowledge joined us. And now we're going to Professor, another educator, Chidan Frunza Mirla from Romania, who has also participated in our youth summit for SDG, our very first one. All of her students, 21 students, 
participated, giving knowledge about sustainable development goals. And then she was able to do the same thing. Thank you again. And now we present another new person to the All Lives Do Exist platform. She is an artist. Her name is Anna Konya, who gave us a whole other perspective with art. And she worked around sustainable development goals by giving examples from her art. Thank you so much, as I cannot wait to see your art in person. In the future, we will have more events, physical, that you guys can come to the United States of America as a special invite to my movie premiere. There'll be a fashion show, an art show, and it will be all within one week. And we will also have a book signing for authors. So we will be sending out that invitation as it is requested and looking forward to meeting you all. Our next awardee is Safar Khan. And now we're presenting Dr. Francis de Costa. Thank you so much. Now we present Chief. AMB Nikirk Nik Nikirka Duru. And our next awardee is they. Vaishali Road. And we're going now to again to Vaishali Road. We honor everyone from all parts of the world. Thank you so much for joining our platform. And now we are able to present Tehran Tiwari.
Yeah, thank you, sister. Thank you, sister Tiana, for your all incredible efforts for promoting global movement our life do exist and uh, this SDG summit it's really great to have you always thank you so much thank you and you are such a loyal person that has been following and helping and we are just grateful to have you a part of this movement and we cannot wait to present you with another award tomorrow. And now we present, and now we present Edward Probeer Mundol, and he is located in Canada. We are so grateful to have you. It's been great having all speakers come together to show one mission, and that is global peace. With a strong institute and strong values, we have found ways to use technology and media to bring people together and this has been very inspiring. Our next awardee is Ambassador Dr. Priyanka Niaji. Wow, she has joined almost all SDGs. Even when her electricity was going out in India, she was still staying there for us. And we are so grateful for her as she showed that human rights are needs that all people have and all people need to express as they do need electricity and they do need all the necessities of elements to live a very fruitful, happy life. Thank you for showing that in the flesh. Thank you. Our next awardee is Honey Kapoor. Thank you again for joining our platform. Now we have another educator from Egypt, Dr. Adli ABD Al Rahman. Thank you for joining us more than one day, even translated for us. Thank you. And now from the United States of America, we have presented this award to Anita Caprice, a poet, a mother, a grandmother, and someone who has found a way of passion with her words. Thank you again, Dr. Anita, Caprice Powell. And now from the Glory Future Foundation, we present Sahid Khan, a poet and a very big advocate to India. 
Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Now we present from the United States of America to Patricia Gandhi, who is very big on women's rights, children's rights, human rights, and really just showing that we all have God with us. Thank you again. Now we present Chen Hu Yu for showing us great, great gratitude and also showing her students and how they were able to choreograph a dance to show how important it is to keep your environment clean and keep your environment happy, utilizing song, dance, and teaching their students to have obedience. Thank you so much. Now we present Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim Abu Asha. Now we are presenting Ivy Barreto. She is a great leader in her country and showing all people that they can fight for what they believe in. And now we present Enolia Fati. She is amazing as she speaks with her passion and her pain to overcome all she's been through. And you can tell that she is a leader and an advocate for women worldwide. Thank you so much, Enolia. You are truly an inspiration. And now we present Dr. Supriya Kumarvalen all the way from India. She impacted us with her presentation showing what we are living in for the planet Earth, showing the, the, the distinct um, truth of what she described was what the human race was creating hell on Earth. And her graphics were very um, graphic. Thank you so much.
you have impacted us with your visuals of presentation. Thank you. Now we have another educator from Spain, Ani Altamirano. Wow, she focused on women's rights. And we will be sending her certificate to her because now that we have loaded so many certificates, our computer is acting up, but we are going to make it through this. Now we present ER Sonesh Bahardwa. And please be patient as it is loading. And she gave amazing points of why economic growth is going to need financial backing. And she gave a viewing on key points of how we need to focus on entrepreneurship and investors. Thank you. Our next special guest, awardee, Unisha Satyal. She was new to our platform and she joined. She joined with courage. Thank you again. And now we're presenting someone from Austin, Texas, United States, Prasad Jalati, a data analysis researcher and economical growth developer. Thank you for joining us for multiple days. We are looking forward to a partnership with you in the future as you discuss partnerships with high value and integrity. And now we have a participation award for Maureen Tabatadis. Thank you for joining us and listening for multiple days.
And we always give our participants, people who are listening, we give them awards because they deserve to be honored along with everyone else. Because again, all lives do exist and women's lives do exist for equality. We show the strength in all people. Our next special awardee is MD Razul Karim. Very impactful and very, very strong integrity behind his work ethics. So we are grateful that he is a global peace brand ambassador for all lives do exist and women's lives do exist for equality for all life existence. Thank you again, MD Razul Karim. We are presenting you with a participation award for your knowledge of wanting to learn more And now we have a researcher, Mihail Stansi. Stansi, thank you so much for learning, participating, and also speaking. Okay, ma'am, thank you very much. I want to say something. You are continuously 90 minutes, you are speaking, spreading and honoring the awards to all the participants. So I want to say something that there are only some rare people who basically think about humanity, peace, love, and to serve the humanity. In this materialistic world, each and everyone nowadays running to earn money and to capture the world and to basically uh, rule to other peoples as well but this one is the only you that you are giving the awareness of sustainable goals of all the 17 goals which are basically all the factors of real human life so salute to you and thank you very much ma'am Tiana really grateful to you and I'm happy that you have a wonderful and uh, you have a passionate a uh, lady who is doing a uh, good and wonderful and spreading the knowledge to all the humans, to all the communities, civilization, uh, while discriminating, while without discriminating anything, any community, any character, any nationality or anything. So this one is the best thing. And uh, we know very well that God, and Allah always basically become happy when we serve the humanity and we spread the peace. Then obviously God will bless us on all the peoples who are basically spreading and consuming their efforts to spread the humanity and to basically do something, some wonderful things in this world to make the uh, thoughts of human beautiful, peaceful, to enhance the rational level, to enhance the tolerance level among the people as well. So continuously, you are 90 minutes, you are speaking, you are honoring the awards, and this one is not a small thing. And this one is, is not basically only rare people and only a great people just like you, that you are leading and you are doing this wonderful job. So from my side, salute to you and thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. And now we present K. Che Rath for participating.
And now we have Joey Mar, Casineo. Thank you so much for listening. And we were so grateful to have people participating to learn more about our platform, to learn more about the knowledge of sustainable development goals, to see what the value is in why I'm actually doing this, why I'm actually having people come together to speak on this platform. So we want to thank Ruby Jessup because she came to learn and she came to appreciate what we were doing. And also Barbara Ahentru, uh, 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 she was also listening for a very long time. And then Yasser Yahu Nuhu, he was from Africa and he actually spoke yesterday on goal 17. So it was just grateful to see that he had never been on our platform before, but he joined to speak. And our last awardee was Mark John Melina. And it was great to know that everyone came together to give their own thoughts and their own effort of what we need to do here to make this happen and to make this a reality. I will say a couple words to end this award ceremony. With peace and value within all humanity, we can come together with anatomy to learn more to give back to the world. With overcoming all of our life circumstances, knowing that the discovery of God exists within and the power of light and love and healing exists within, all people can coexist with each other on this earth, showing that we don't need any more war and that we need more global peace, showing that mental health is a real impact in our world. With mental health prevention and with mental health awareness, we can now spread faith and hope all over the world utilizing technology and media, awarding people for speaking and for the words of courage, building character, giving value to now all occupations of service and showing the youth that we are with them and they are not alone. This will help the world tremendously with great courage and acknowledgement of a higher obedience for a spiritual being of God's creations, we show more new, epic, advanced technology that gives people an impact scale of love and light. Now is our time to unite and assemble for global peace as we are doing on the All Lives Do Exist platform, utilizing all perceptions and all perspectives. We can do anything we put our minds to and you all deserve to know that God is with you and I am with you all. So continue to fight for peace, fight for the integrity of your values, continue to grow development with your morals, and this will change your life forever. Thank you, all of you. We will be back for more All Lives Do Exist Summits. Sustainable development goals will be reached before 2025. Thank you and God bless you all. Take care. Until next time.